Base64 encoding is a process of converting binary data into a limited character set, such as A to Z, E to Z, 0 to 9, and or a few other characters, that can be represented in a plain text format. This is useful when binary data needs to be stored or transferred as text, such as in email attachments or JSON data. There are many advantages of using Base64 encoding. It is widely supported, Base64 encoding is a widely used standard and is supported by many programming languages, libraries, and frameworks. It is easy to implement, encoding and decoding data in Base64 is relatively simple and can be done with minimal code. It allows for safe data transfer, since Base64 encoding can only represent a limited character set, it can help protect against certain types of data injection attacks, such as those that involve binary data. It allows storing binary data in a text format. Many systems and applications are only capable of handling text data, so Base64 encoding is a way to store binary data in a text format that can be easily stored, transmitted, and processed by these systems. It allows for the inclusion of binary data in text-based protocols or formats. Some protocols and formats, such as email and HTTP, are primarily text-based. Base64 encoding can be used to include binary data in these types of protocols and formats, without having to worry about the underlying binary data being misinterpreted as text. There are also some disadvantages to using Base64 encoding. It increases data size, Base64 encoded data is about 33% larger than the original data, which can be an issue if storage space is limited or if the data needs to be transmitted over a limited bandwidth network. It is not an encryption method, Base64 encoding does not provide any encryption or confidentiality for the data. If confidentiality is a concern, the data should be encrypted before being encoded in Base64. Base64 encoding is less efficient than other binary-to-text encoding methods such as ASCII 85. Base64 encoding can be vulnerable to certain types of attacks if not implemented properly. Any type of binary data can be converted to Base64. Base64 is a generic term for a group of binary-to-text encoding schemes that represent binary data in an ASCII string format by translating it into a RADIX64 representation. Base64 encoding schemes take 8-bit binary data and convert it into a 6-bit character representation, which can include any characters from the ASCII table. There are several other binary-to-text encoding schemes that are related to Base64, some examples of these are Base32, similar to Base64, but uses a smaller set of characters, AZ and 2 to 7, and encodes data in blocks of 5 bits instead of 6 bits. This results in a smaller encoded output than Base64, but also a less compact representation. Base16 or hexadecimal, encodes binary data into ASCII characters using a representation of 4 bits per character, 0 to 9, AF. This results in a larger encoded output than Base64 but is more compact than Base32. Base85, developed by Adobe, uses a larger character set, ASCII characters, than Base64 and encodes data in blocks of 4 bytes at a time, resulting in a more compact representation, but also a more complex implementation. ASCII 85, similar to Base 85, but uses a more dense character set and can be more compact than Base 64. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.